Hi, Lee Ling. Good to see you again. Hi, Jackie. It's good to see you too. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about appliances for a net zero home. Good one. Yes. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about that. Great. Okay. My first question is, how do you go about selecting an appliance that is more energy efficient? The Environmental Protection Agency has made it easy to find energy efficient appliances. So the Environmental Protection Agency is known as the EPA and their Energy Star label is awarded to products that meet their standards for performance and efficiency. So I recommend you pick an energy efficient model before you go to the store by going to the Energy Star website and comparing products there on the website. Okay, so I've heard of Energy Star, but who makes Energy Star products? Well, all the major manufacturers have Energy Star versions of their products. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, how much can you really save then, though, with an Energy Star appliance? Well, in general, Energy Star appliances save at least 10% over a non-efficient version. And all Energy Star appliances save energy, but Energy Star clothes washers and dishwashers save water too. So lower water consumption saves on water heating and pumping energy, or if you're in the city, on municipal water fees. So that makes a triple win on the savings side. Okay, so how do I know what Energy Star appliance I should get? Well, I suggest you think about the features you want. On the Energy Star website, you can sort uh, appliances by size and configuration. And each model that's listed on that website will have an estimate of the annual energy consumption. Click the little compare box next to the models you're interested in, and then you can see them all side by side. Okay. Now, how much do Energy Star appliances cost? It really depends. But in general, not much more than an inefficient model if you're looking at the same features. So a higher upfront cost is usually offset with lower operating costs pretty quickly. Okay, so let's start talking about some of the appliances and let's start with fridges and freezers. What should I look for when I'm selecting an Energy Star fridge or freezer? For the lowest energy bills, start by choosing the smallest refrigerator that works for you and your family. Fridges with freezers on the top are more efficient than those with freezers on the bottom and the side-by-side -side configuration is usually the least efficient. Avoid automatic ice makers and door dispensers if you can. They increase energy use by a lot, sometimes up to 20%. Wow, uh, that's great guidance. If you want to dig deep into the refrigerator thing, look for a refrigerator or freezer that uses R290, R441A, or R600A. Those are all refrigerants. And these natural refrigerants have a much lower global warming impact compared to what's used in most refrigerators. And so once you get that new refrigerator home, use a refrigerator thermometer to set the internal temperature to 37 degrees Fahrenheit in the refrigerator compartment and zero degrees Fahrenheit in the freezer compartment. That's great information. Um, let's switch gears and let's talk about the oven and the stove. What should I look for there? Yeah, so your big choice with the stove and the oven is going to be on the fuel, electric or gas, and the efficiency is less significant there. The newest cook stove technology is electric induction, which heats cookware directly instead of conducting heat to the pan from a hot element. And induction is a little more efficient than conventional electric or gas stoves, but that's it's only enough to make a difference if you cook a lot. Which we do. Um, I had no idea. <laughs> It's also important to have effective kitchen ventilation since your home is going to be certified to the Department of Energy Zero Energy Ready Homes Program. We know you'll have kitchen ventilation that can handle whatever you cook up. The exhaust at the stove is gonna capture particulates, moisture, and any smoke that comes off the stove. Yeah, we'll definitely have kitchen ventilation. Um, what about the dishwasher? Well, something that often surprises people is learning that hand-washing dishes uses more hot water than using a dishwasher. So an Energy Star dishwasher is gonna save you money on the energy and the water, and it's gonna do a good job cleaning your dishes. 
like large appliances like dishwashers will have a yellow energy guard guide label that shows how much it costs to operate, including the water heating cost. Um, and then like all large appliances, a secondary thing to think about is the noise. I recommend a dishwasher that's no louder than 45 decibels because noise is a pollutant too and you deserve to have a peaceful home. You'll have to go to the manufacturer's website to learn how loud a dishwasher is because the Energy Star website doesn't list that information. Okay, I'm learning so much. Just one more thing that I can think of, the clothes washer. Yeah, compared to a, an older top loading clothes washer, an Energy Star washer will save about 50% less water and 45% less energy. They also handle more clothes in a smaller device and they do a better job cleaning and they're gentler on closing. So um, a bonus is that the Energy Star clothes washer will spin out more water at the end of the cycle, which means less time and energy to dry your clothes when the washing is done. Wow, seems like there's a lot of benefits beyond just energy savings. <laughs> yeah, well, don't forget about the clothes dryer. Energy Star clothes dryers utilize a number of efficient technologies for best savings, look for a hybrid or heat pump clothes dryer. Remember to clean your dryer duct and outside hood periodically because the accumulated lint makes your clothes take longer to dry and uses more energy. And if you're lucky enough to have a spot to hang your clothes outside to dry, you can save 100% of your clothes dryer energy. This is great information. Well, for those of us that are not building a new home, sometimes it makes sense to replace an appliance even if it still works. The energy savings, particularly for a very old appliance, might justify the expense of buying new. That makes sense. <laughs> well, there's just one more thing, Jackie. If you do get in a position of disposing an appliance, do it responsibly. Some appliances have dangerous environmental hazards and they can pollute waterways or the air. So check with your local solid waste authority for details. Well, we'll be in this house for some time, so we'll definitely get to that point. I'll remind my friends, though, to do that as well. <laughs> Otherwise, um, those were all my questions about appliances. Thanks so much, Li Ling, for going through that with me. That was very helpful. You're welcome. Anytime.